What is up guys, the 46 chromosome here today, and today we're going to be seeing if milk increases the population of microorganisms inside a controlled environment. So, this environment is a petri dish that I had a sample from a river, and, uh, and it's got some algae and stuff, and I put milk in it for a week or two, and I think I put a little bit too much, but let's see what happens. So, I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the side, and I have already looked at the results and it's surprising. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm taking some of the water from the sample, like the milk induced water, and I'm putting it on there just to kind of increase the chances of, well, not really increasing chances, I'm just putting water so I can deal with the slide, because the slide won't stick without water. And it is the milk induced water. So, I'm going to throw all this stuff away, it's just garbage. And it smells really bad. So if you ever do this, just be warned, it smells awful. So, um, I'm going to put it under the microscope, and, uh, here's what I saw. So, I was actually really surprised at what I saw. So, what you can see here is millions of, or not millions, but lots of microorganisms going around, but they're not what I expected. I expected this to breed the Paramecia, but it seems to be that there's only like one or two Paramecia flying around. I feel like it breeded those other little ciliates instead. So I feel like, I guess you have to find out what's in the population in order to do this. Like, so if there's more ciliates, it's probably going to breed the ciliates. Like, what happened here? And there's just mass amounts of these ciliates in here, and they're just everywhere. Oh, uh, so, yeah, that's it for... Thanks for watching, uh, and enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, thank you.